Hi everybody, Flick here from Sleek and today I'm going to show you an exercise to relieve back pain. A gentle sequence that for me as a professional dancer has always just helped me to keep my spine supple so relieving any back pain that ever creeps up. I was a professional dancer for 20 years and in that time I was rarely injured, never had a major injury. I always looked after my body so I'm going to give you some extra tips in this video how you can keep your spine healthy but still keep sleek. We're going to start on the chair and then I'm going to give you an extra little secret to do when we stand up so stay with me to the end. So starting sitting down you can face me. Here we go. We're going to think about our positioning before we even start to move our bodies. So we need to think about our tailbone being neutral, so pointing down towards the seat of your chair. Opening up through the shoulders, you can take a couple of gentle shoulder rolls. Most of the time, common complaints in the back are due to some stiffness, and we want to really, really alleviate that stiffness, and we release any tension in our spine. We get that a lot from sitting, maybe carrying children, driving our cars, wearing poor footwear. All of the above can give us poorly spine. So lift it up out of the waist. As I say, a couple of shoulder rolls just to feel open across the chest. And then I want you to think about your core, your abdominals. A lot of back pain stems from weak abdominals. So we're going to draw that tummy button through to the spine. Imagine someone's got a piece of string attached to your middle back. I'm going to draw that middle back out towards that back wall. Squeeze your chin to your chest. Round out your spine. Then interlace your fingers, cross your thumbs and press your palms to the opposite side of the room so you're making a C shape with your spine. We call this a contraction in dance terminology. We're contracting the spine, making space between the vertebrae, drawing the abdominals in, release off. That's the shape that I want you to continue to make. When you release off from this contraction, don't then hyperextend and pop your ribcage out. Come back to that neutral tailbone pointing down, ribcage drawn together position. I'm going to turn and face you now and let's learn this little sequence. Drawing your tummy in. Again, roll your shoulders back. Check that good alignment. Alignment is so important throughout all our sleep workouts. This time we're taking first position as we contract. So draw your arms to a first position. Feel that piece of string. Pull your middle spine back, squeezing your chin gently down towards your chest. And then this time we release. We're going to take the arms to too high to demi bra. Again, draw your tummy in, repeat that contraction. Your knees are your hip distance apart, ankles match. This time take a little higher, find shoulder height, feel like your fingertips are being separated. And again, draw your tummy in, we're rounding, manipulating the spine here, maneuvering, getting some breath into the body. Lift the arms, this is called open fifth, fingertips to the corner of your room. And then release everything down. Let's take that a little bit quicker. Draw the tummy in. And let's move. We take a contraction and release. Two to height with the arms. So rounding your spine, tummy draws in. And then long spine, lift the arms a little higher. Again, contraction. Squeeze chin gently to chest. Lift up. This time, draw the elbows, wrists down towards your body and then float them back up high. Let's repeat it all again. We squeeze. And two to height with the arms. Trying to imagine some space under your armpits, like you've got two hot air balloons, floating up, getting length into that spine, squeeze it, and lift, and then take a release down and up, float the arms away, and then release them down. Now this time, round out your spine, pick up one leg, wrap your fingers around your shin, take that contraction again, maybe your forehead touches your knee. And then leave your leg where it is, see if you can draw up, engage again into your abdominal muscles. Take that leg up and over, crossing your legs as if you would sitting at dinner or under a table, release your arms up and round. Fingertips come to the outside of your thigh, extend your hand away. Second hand comes to your tailbone, your sacrum. Press apply a little bit of pressure and then draw your shoulders round to face towards that cross leg. Breathe in and breathe out, we're now rotating, twisting, massaging out the spine. As you release, you're going to sweep the arms up and over and take a gentle sweep twisting through the body, rotating through the spine, working the abs, three, and four, and five, and six, last one, come seven, draw your tummy in, lift the leg back up, come back to that neutral position, ready to contract, we take it down, squeezing, and lift, already you're feeling warmer into that spine, we're engaging into our core, waking up that muscular corset, take it down, 
and lift it up. One elbow wrist draws in, down and up. Send the arms away and let's do it one more time. We squeeze and release. Good work. So we're really drawing those abdominals through to the spine and we're working that spine in two ranges of movement. This is perpendicular forward and back lift and then down and up. Still this in your spine. Well done. Then the other leg picks up and again we're still, we're still working that perpendicular horizontal. Squeeze your forehead towards your knee. And then lift up, see so if you can pull your tummy through to your spine even more, engaging you deeply into those abdominal muscles. If you let go of your leg, it would stay there. Pick it up a little higher, cross it over, and then again, taking this arm round you, fingertips behind you, press against that back hand, take a gentle twist. As you twist, grow taller, try not to hold your breath. And then release the arms up, and we take a gentle rotation side to side. This is three and four and five, keep pulling your tummy in six, and seven, come back to center, release that leg down, and this time, take that interlacing of the fingers that we took at the top, and this time take it behind you, sit up nice and far forward in your chair, if you wish you can demi-point, so lifting your heels nice and high, and then send your palms down and away from you, stretch across the front of the chest, lift up out of your waist, and release, Roll your shoulders off, and let's do that whole sequence standing up. This is where we'll take it up a gear. Well done, let's take it up a gear and now start to work in a classical position called first position. We can find this by finding parallel, rocking back onto our heels and from the tops of our legs, opening up our hips, our knees and our ankles are all in one line. Don't overturn your feet like a penguin, that isn't gonna help anything, especially not anything into your back. Again, tailbone points down, ribcage doesn't overextend, this time we're finding a bra bar. As we contract, draw your chin to your chest and now take a demi plie, plie to bend, squeeze your chin to your chest. Draw up, find that tutu height again. Let's go, plie, squeeze chin to chest and find a little higher, find arms to second. Again, plie, squeeze your chin to chest, find that lifted open fifth and then draw down and up. And release, we're going to step out now. We're going to straight away sweep up and over, taking that little rotation a little deeper for five, for six, for seven, and again, just adding a gentle twist, but keeping my hips facing me. This is now three, two, one, come back, find first. Let's do it once more. We plie. Draw up, find your demi and plie, arms come to first, chin to chest, little higher. Good, plie, same thing, tuck those thumbs away, lift. Draw the arms down and up, take a breath. Let's go one more time now, let's do it one more time, really rounding that spine now. So it's got lots of movement going through that torso, a muscular corset area, really crucial as dancers. We consider it the centerpiece of our work, lower down and up. Maybe this time you take a rise. Let's step out the other way for one, for two. Big sweep. You can start to maybe take the arms a little higher, but really still thinking about turning from your tummy button. This is one. Make a figure of eight with your arms. Good. So working this time in rotation. Six and seven. Come back. Find your first position. From here, step out wide. And again, cross your fingers and your thumbs. Send your tailbone down, and this time I'm going to turn sideways so you can see a little more clearly. You have an option to stay here, open through the front of the chest, or you can start to tilt your body forward, pull your tummy in, protect your spine, protect your back. Lift your arms up and over, and gaze between your shins. If it's too much for you, find a plie, releasing down, but still keep drawing those arms over, and as you straighten up, don't worry if the kneecaps don't fully extend. We don't want to lock out those legs, we want to lift up through the kneecaps if you are finding a straight leg. To come out of this, slide your hands down past your bottom, release them past your thighs, shake out your head and neck, and then draw your tummy in. As we did right at the top of this little sequence, cross your fingers and thumbs, press the ceiling away, lift them out of your waist, again find that neutral spine, remember, rib cage in, tailbone down. 
and then release your arms off, roll your shoulders out a couple of times. We've lengthened our spine. We've engaged into our core, working two planes of movement or twisting rotational side to side. Using these movements daily will give you strength into your core and gently alleviate any stiffness or tension into our backs. So do add this in to any of your workouts and remember if you like and enjoy this video, click like and subscribe to our channel and we've got loads more videos for members on our Sleep Techniques site so please head on over there and I hope to see you very soon.